Hi, I'm Allison Ball for The Green Machine. By now, we've all heard of global warming, but do you know about the energy crisis? A recent scientific study found that by the year 2050, at the rate power consumption is growing, we will need three times as much primary power, and it will have to be three times as clean as today's power. Nuclear fission is seen as a possible primary source of power, but there are grave problems with fission. We know about the dangers of nuclear waste and the potential for weapons, but what about the power plants themselves? 103 nuclear plants in the U.S. are nearing the end of their lifespans. What happens then? To find out, we went to the OC, Orange County, California, to the San Onofre nuclear plant just south of Laguna Beach. A reactor gives you 50 years of energy and 500,000 years of nuclear waste. Yet a tangle of competing state and federal laws leaves California and 35 other states no place to ship their most toxic low-level waste. Nuclear plants are licensed for only 40 years due to community concern and the radiation of equipment. A 20-year extension is possible, but only after lengthy studies and costly upgrades. Then they must close for good. Operators of decommissioned plants might have no choice but to keep waste on site for hundreds of years. Another dilemma is how to move the reactor vessels. The oversized containers that soak up radioactivity, such as the 950 ton radioactive chunk marooned at the San Onofre plant. The plant is decommissioning one of its three reactors and plans to send it to Barnwell. Panama Canal officials say the vessel is too heavy to move through the canal. Rail officials say moving it could cripple operations. But South Carolina is where it has to go. California, with seven commercial reactors, has no place to ship its toxic low-level radioactive waste after Barnwell closes its doors. The only alternative may be to leave radioactive waste on site at the nuclear plants. Many activists say the waste should stay exactly where it is to avoid the hazards of shipping it. At San Onofre, entombment would be impossible and unsafe. The land is leased from the marine and must be returned by 2040. The rising waters caused by global warming could jeopardize storage at this coastal site. Wherever large decaying parts of reactors end up, there are health and safety concerns. It's impossible to know who will be living near a site thousands of years from now. With the many problems of nuclear fission plants, it seems we will have to look elsewhere for our primary power. This is Allison Ball for Green Machine.